Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having an amazing day wherever you are. My name is Shantae and today I'm gonna to be taking you guys to an autumn winter collective haul. Every year I always feel like I have absolutely nothing to wear and this year I wanted that to change. So this year I made a big list of everything I wanted to buy, everything that I felt like was missing and I basically bought through that list and this is basically everything that I have to show you. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration if you're just looking for some new pieces to buy. Maybe you're looking for some new staples to add to your wardrobe because you feel like you have something missing. Hopefully this helps with that, but without further ado, let's just get straight into the haul because we have plenty to get through. As usual, links and my sizing will be linked down below to every single item. But the first category we're going to start with is outerwear because I've got quite a few jackets to get through and they're just all beautiful, so I'm so excited to show you. But the first item that we have is this beautiful chocolate brown trench coat from Another Stories. I purchased this because I currently do not have a trench coat in my wardrobe. I wanted to add one into my wardrobe for a while and I had one many years ago, but the reason that I kind of put myself up for buying another one is because a lot of them just come with these beige tones, which is nice, don't get me wrong, I love a neutral, but the problem with the beige tones in trench coats is that for me, sometimes they look like they have this weird yellow or like green undertone and on my skin tone, it just didn't flatter me at all. It either just washed me out, it just didn't look good. So I was on the hunt for just for something a bit more different or maybe just finding the perfect color beige. And when I came across this chocolate brown trench coat and other stories for selling, I was like, this is it, this is perfection. I love how this looks on my skin tone. It's a really nice twist on a really classic style. It's really beautifully structured. It's got great fit on the shoulders. I love the length. It's got a really nice double breasted detail. So it's nice and a little bit oversized. I also love that it has the adjustable buttons on the wrist so that you can make it into like a more of like a wide arm if you prefer, or if you want, you can have a bit more of like a volume sleeve and just tighten it up a little bit. It's really nice to have those adjustable options. And obviously we have the adjustable belt as well. Really nice, thick and chunky, really long, and it wraps all the way around. And it's just really well built, this jacket. It's just really good quality. I think it's mostly cotton material wise, so it's really, really good quality. And with this jacket, I can definitely tell that it's money well spent because I know this will last me for absolute years in my wardrobe. They do also have it in a beige color if you do prefer beige tones, but I personally just absolutely love the chocolate brown. So I think it just looks really beautiful in my skin tone. And it's just a really nice option, you know, just adds a bit of a twist to a classic. So I absolutely love this, could not recommend enough. Now the next coat I have is another very classic style and it is this double breasted, black wool coat from COS. This coat for me was just the perfect find this winter. You know when you're just searching high and low for something that's very simple, but nothing seems to quite match up to like the exact image you have in your mind. When I saw this jacket, I was like, this is it. This is exactly what I've been searching for. But I purchased a medium and the fit is just perfect on me. It's perfectly oversized, the double breasted detail again, gives it a nice oversized look to it, which is what I wanted. The length is perfect on me as well. And when it's done up, it looks absolutely great as well. It's got the pockets and it's just a beautiful wool coat. This material as well is just absolutely gorgeous. Like the wool that they've used, is just beautiful. Like it just feels so smooth and just looks so expensive and just so nice. The only downside I'd give this coat is that it only has the one button fastened. They could have added like more buttons that you could do up just so it feels a bit more secure but I did actually wear that coat out this weekend when I went away for a few days and to be honest it caused absolutely no issues and my favorite thing is that I do love the wide sleeve you'll notice this with me in jackets as well is that if I buy a jacket it does need to have a wide sleeve because there's nothing worse than when you want to put on a jumper underneath the coat and you can't put it on or it doesn't feel comfortable because the arms are too tight and you bend your arm and it feels like all the circulation's cut off. It's just, it's not a vibe. So this with the wide arms, it's just absolutely perfect. And I could wear it really comfortably with a jumper underneath it with my nice bowl necks and it just looks absolutely great. Now the next coat I have to show you is from Mango and it is this volume sleeved faux leather jacket. And I absolutely love this because it's perfect crop on me first of all like it just comes up perfectly in my waist which I absolutely love the wide sleeves again it means that I can wear a jumper underneath it and it's comfortable but what I loved is that it's just a little bit of a different take on the leather jacket a lot of leather jackets just have like the belts on them they have the sort of like cut on the chest area and they just sort of zip up to there and I just kind of got bored of that it wasn't very flattering on me especially being more on the busty side it's especially just not flattering having those styles so when I saw this I was like this is just such a nice alternative to like a regular leather jacket faux leather I should say it also has the silver button details going all the way down the front personally I do prefer the jacket when it's undone just because it just looks a bit nicer I think the coat retails for about £59 which I think is a really good price for the sort of style it is and for the details it has 
could not go wrong with this leather jacket. And if you are looking for something different to sort of add to your faux leather jacket collection, this is a really great alternative. Now the next coat I have to show you again is from Another Stories. As you can tell, I am a big fan of Another Stories. They are one of my favorite brands. I just love their items that they have. It's this beautiful beige full length coat. What I absolutely loved on this is the collar detail. The collar detail is just what makes it for me. It's just such a beautiful style, really classy, really sophisticated. It's, again, it's got a really nice wide belt to it. This one's made out of 100% wool, if I remember correctly, but I just absolutely love the style. It comes up really nice and long on me, not too long as well. So again, comes up to about mid calf, which is absolutely perfect. It's got a really nice fit to it. And I just absolutely love this with the wide sleeve. It's just perfection and I could not recommend this enough. The only downside I would give to this jacket is that there's two, I'd say. The first is that it only has the belt detail to do it up. That's not a big issue because surprisingly enough, it does completely hold. I've worn this jacket out at least 10 times at this point since I bought it and it's never once undone whilst I've been out. And I think it is thanks to that really thick, chunky belt it has with it. Really does do a good job of keeping it fastened up and closed. But again, for the price, it would have been nice if there was just one button, maybe just so it felt a bit more secure. The other downside I'd give to it as well is that there is no lining on this jacket. It is literally just like the wool coat and that's it. They've not lined it with anything inside, which is a bit annoying because realistically for the price point, you'd expect it to first of all be lined. But also because of it being wool, it can be a little bit irritating on the body. But for me, I was kind of happy to sort of forego that because, you know, it's an absolutely beautiful style and I just think it fits so well in my wardrobe. And realistically, when I'm wearing this jacket, it's always going to be with long sleeved anyway. So the fact that it didn't have the lining wasn't a huge concern. But if that's something that, you know, is going to bother you, just be aware of that just for the price point. But it is an absolutely beautiful style and I just could not recommend this enough, especially Oh, it just looks so good with like a pair of heels, with trainers, with trousers, with a dress underneath. It's just a really nice jacket. And the last jacket I have to show you in this collection is a North Face puffer jacket. What is winter without a good puffer jacket, right? I needed one in my wardrobe, I didn't have one at all, and in Wales it gets extremely cold. So obviously it's really nice having the wool coats and the other different styles, but sometimes you just need something that's a bit more on the practical side, and this North Face jacket is just absolute perfection. What I love about this jacket, again, it's cropped, so it sits perfectly in my body, and I love the fit. I like that it zips all the way to the top, so I can get a really nice collar with it if I want to. It's got the adjustable wrist straps as well, so you can sort of tighten it a little bit if needed. But the final thing that I really love about this jacket is that even though it's a puffer jacket, it's not overly puffy, if that makes sense. But some of these jackets, if they're oversized and they're cropped, it just doesn't look super flattering on the body. I don't know what it is. It kind of adds a bit more body than I'd prefer on myself. It makes me look a bit larger than I am, which isn't a huge problem, but it's just doesn't look very great for the sort of style I plan on wearing this with. I plan on wearing this with like leggings and like either boots or trainers. And when I've had those sorts of crop jackets in the past, it just never has looked quite right. So when I saw this one and it was a bit more fitted on the body, but still sort of puffer and warm, I was like, this is perfect. I got it on a really good price a few months ago in the ASOS sale. And this is one thing I would say about winter shopping is that if you're looking for a bargain and you know what you want, start doing your shopping in the summer because you will get some really good bargains. I think this came down from like 190 or maybe even 200 pounds all the way down to like 80 something pounds, which is just an absolute steal for North Face as well. Like that is such a good price, but I really love this jacket and I could not recommend it enough. Now the next category we're gonna move on to is knitwear. I have quite a few pieces here and this is my first time actually sort of diving properly into knitwear. In the past, I've never been a knitwear fan and that was just because I realized I was buying the knitwear and the wrong materials, if that makes sense. So in the past, I've always seen jumpers I absolutely loved, but then when I got them and I wore them out, I just felt hot, I felt uncomfortable and they just didn't feel very nice. And I realized that what was happening is that I was buying these polyester blends or synthetic blend jumpers. And with synthetic blend items, the issue you have is that they're not breathable. So of course you're gonna get hot, you're gonna feel sweaty and it's just gonna, it sounds so gross, but it's sort of smell after only like one wear, which is just so bizarre because I'm not even a sweaty person by nature. And I was just finding this with all my knitwear. But then when I realized that was the issue and I started doing a bit more shopping and looking into like the quality of the items, the material makeup, I came to find out that I can actually wear knitwear. It just needs to be the right materials, you know? So the first item I have to show you is from H&M. It is a wool and cashmere blend oversized cropped jumper. What I love about this jumper is that it's got this really nice wide sort of, how can I say, is it like an oversized tart neck? I don't know if I'd call it that or oversized roll neck, but basically it's got a really nice wide collar, comes all the way like 
right to my chin, which I just love. It just feels super cozy. And what I like as well about it is that you can move it up and down. So it is quite adjustable. So if you did want to pull it down to more like here, you could. If you wanted it all the way there, you could. And it would still fold over nicely. I just absolutely love the chunky detail of this as well. I do also really like the fact that it's cropped. I love this jumper so much that I also then went ahead and bought it in the beige colour as well because I felt like I wanted to have something that's a little bit different in my wardrobe for winter. Now the next piece I have to show you is from Arquette and it's this really nice v-neck collared striped jumper. What I love about this is that it's not overly cropped, it does come a little bit longer but on the hips it has this sort of cutout which means it sits really nicely on the hips and sort of flows off if that makes sense and this is what I love, I love these little details which just mean that clothes fits much nicer, they do just make all the difference even though it's just a, like a tiny little thing big difference it makes. Got a beautiful collar to it, has a bit of a v-neck showing. What I do like with having a bit of a jump with a v-neck is that I can wear my longer necklaces with it and you can actually see it. You can also adjust the wrist as well. It sits a little bit longer in the wrist but it's really easy to just pull it back and you can sort of have it a bit shorter. Or if you prefer that sort of oversized look, you can literally just have it completely long and hang it off your hands if that's your preference. But for me, I just like to take it up and just roll it back a little bit just so it's a bit more structured. What I like about the stripes as well is that they're not super thick, they're quite thin and I just like that it's a bit more minimal in that sense because I do like a pattern but I'm not crazy on patterns you know I don't like it to be too much and for me this is like a nice you know it's a bit of a pattern but not too much the cream colour as well of the jumper means that it goes with lots of neutrals I already have in my wardrobe goes nice with black trousers blue jeans whatever I feel like wearing in the winter it will mostly go which I absolutely love and I like my items to be versatile as possible if you could not tell already and I've already gotten so much wear out of it that I could not recommend it enough and now the final knitwear piece I have to show you is the one that I'm actually wearing now and it is this beautiful, I think it's called the Menotone Zip from Vale. I absolutely love this jumper. This is probably my favourite knitwear that I've bought this year and there is just so many things that I love about it. First of all, Vale do excellent knitwear pieces. I know them as an athleisure brand, they do sort of luxe sportswear, sports bras, leggings, shorts, that sort of thing, some tennis wear as well. Really great options and good price points. But when I saw their knitwear, I was just kind of like, hang on a minute. Like I was so shocked because I was like, this is this is nice. Like this is so nice. And it's just I guess it falls in line with their brand, but I was just so surprised because it's not very often that a sportswear brand would also do really nice knitwear that's very wearable, but I just absolutely love their knitwear pieces. So there were so many things that I absolutely love about this Varley jumper. So the first detail that I love is the knitwear detail. It's chunky, but not too chunky, which is my preference because, you know, sometimes too much chunky is just not my vibe for me anyway. And I absolutely love this sort of style knit. It's also 100% cotton, so it's super breathable, really wearable, but it's also very nice and cozy. I've worn it out quite a few times and it does keep me really nice and warm. I love that with the zip detail as well, that I can zip it up and down as much as I like. So I've just got it, as you can see, currently off the shoulders now, and it sits really nicely like this. But if I show you, this does zip all the way down, and the zip, I don't know if you can see, goes all the way to the top. So you can really have it as high or as low as you want to. And I think that's really great because, again, I love items that are really versatile and you can really tailor it to suit your style. But the detail that really wins me over with this jumper is such a small one, but for me, it means a lot. And it's the fact that the zip is gold. I love gold tones. If you can't tell from the earrings, the necklace and the rings, I love gold tones. Gold tones are a bit in me. And on jackets and jumpers, you tend to find more silver tones. But the fact that this features gold is just such a nice feature because it just means it goes nice with my jewellery. And it's such a small detail, but for me, I was just like, wow, something with gold chains on it. And I just don't feel like I often see items with gold on them. I often see them with silver. And I think out of all the pieces, this is probably my favourite one. And I know I definitely will be purchasing more Bali pieces because they're just absolutely beautiful. They're really well made, really well crafted. And I just really could not recommend them enough. They have so many styles to suit everyone. And I definitely know I'll be making another purchase very soon. Now, I do have a couple of tops here to show you as well. I don't really have tons of them just because, you know, it is the winter months and I did focus a bit more on knitwear. But I did want to include a couple of sort of base layer type tops just in case you're in the market for some. So I have two from a company called Free People. And it is this square neck bodysuit with a long sleeve. Not at all see-through, especially the white, because that's the first one that caught my eye. I saw it in Harvey Nichols and I was like, oh, I'll give it a try because I do need something like it. But when I tried it on, I was so pleasantly surprised with how flattering and how supportive it was without actually even needing to wear a bra. Not at all see-through, really good quality, really nice material fit to it. The bodysuit is also a thong as well, so if you're wearing something a bit more on the tighter side of the bottoms, you don't have to worry about like a BPL showing. 
but I just really love these bodysuits. They fit really nice in the arms and I could not recommend enough because for the price, I just think they are a great staple and you can definitely wear these in the summer as well. You get tons of wear out of these, not even just for the winter. It's a really great top option for something a bit more on the basic side. So next category I have to show you is bottoms. Now, I don't know how to phrase these bottoms, bottom halfway, it just sounds a bit strange saying bottoms, isn't it? But basically, anything from the hip down is what I'm gonna show you in this next portion. So the first item I have are these Levi's 501 jeans. I was searching high and low for the perfect jean fit, and I bought jeans from a few other different brands, and I guess they were trying to be sort of 501 dudes, but after going in the store and just trying the 501s in person, I realized, you know what, these are the ones for me. I should have just stuck to the original and spent the money on Levi's in the first place because I absolutely love my 501 jeans. They have a super classic style. They sit nicely on like almost like a mid hip. They are fitted on the bum and on the thigh area. And then they just come out nice and straight from the knee down to your calf basically, which is what I wanted because I didn't want a mum jean and I didn't want a skinny jean. I kind of wanted something a bit in between and the fiber ones are exactly that. What I particularly love about the Levi's as well is that if you take them into store, you can get them tailored for free, which is just an absolute like incredible service not on the waist from what i understand you can't get them tailored on the waist for free but you can get them taken up and for me that is a big deal because i wanted these to be the perfect length of my body i wanted them to be just on the ankle not so high that it looks like ankle buyers but not so low that if i wore boots with them that i would have to feel the need to roll them up i wanted something that was perfectly in between that and i got them tailored down to a 27 and a half exactly which is just a great option. I love that they have that for free. It just makes it even more worth the price, in my opinion. And I love my five ones so much. I went ahead and bought them in a darker shade of blue as well, and the charcoal gray. They all fit absolutely beautifully. I just could not recommend them enough. And I know that I've basically converted to Levi's jeans. So I'll probably only ever buy Levi's from now on. I know that's a big statement, I probably will because the quality is just worth it. The service is excellent and the jeans just sit beautifully. Just look really nice. Now, the next item I have to show you is a bit of a, a, bit of a wild card, I think. And it's this really cute mini gray skirt from Zara. Now, you're probably gonna be thinking, Shante, why are you buying skirts? It's winter time, you don't want skirts. Me, I don't care. I will wear a skirt any time of the year. I'll be honest, I'll wear whatever I want any time of the year, but skirts especially, because I just think you can't go wrong with a nice little winter skirt, you know? But I just absolutely love this grey style of it. I love the pleated detail, I like the length of it. It is very short, of course, like, let's just not lie, it's a very short skirt. But what I do like and what Zara have done is that they've built in shorts underneath it so that you're just not completely worrying about showing everything. Don't get me wrong, I will not be bending over the skirt, like absolutely not, because it is still far too short for that. But it is nice to have that bit of extra coverage. But I just think it's a really cute style. And it also does look really nice with my oversized college jacket as well, which I have showed you guys just so you can see, you know, get a bit of an inspiration on how to style it. But I do just think this is a really cute style. I'll definitely get a ton of wear out of this. And if you are someone who, like me, gets a little bit tired of like a jumper and jeans, or top and jeans, then this is just a little alternative to mix it up a little bit. The final item I have to show you for bottoms is from M&S, and it is these wide leg tailored back trousers. What I like is that they sit nice and high in the waist. They've got the zip detail, which is really nice. They are very comfortable. They are the perfect length for me. Like they cut perfectly on the ankle. They are really nice and heavy weighted. So they are very warm, very toasty. And I just wish they would make these in other colors because if they did, I'd buy them all because they are just such a nice fit. I've not had to get these tailored at all. They just sit really great on the waist. They come off and they're really nice and flattering on the bum. They look really nice with some tight tops with a jumper. And they are really versatile. So if you are looking for a nice pair of trousers that are a bit on the wide leg side, you don't want to spend a ton of money on them. I really do recommend these ones in M&S. You just cannot go wrong with them. And if they are in stock, I recommend buying quickly because I just know they would sell out and they probably have already sold out before, but M&S are generally quite good at restocking their items. So if you do see them, definitely give them a try. Okay guys, and that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was. If you have any of your own autumn winter recommendations, cause I'd love to hear those as well. If you did enjoy watching this video, do make sure to give it a thumbs up as it does help me out a lot. I am I'm also thinking of making a part two to this haul where I talk a little bit more about autumn winter accessories such as jewellery, shoes, bags, that sort of thing. So if you guys do want to see that, definitely subscribe. Make sure to turn on the notifications so you can get alerts when I do make that video. I hope you guys have an amazing day, afternoon and week, wherever you are. And thank you so much for joining me in this video and I really look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye guys.